welcome back to my tutorial so in this tutorial I'm going to uh, take you through how to install IIS web server so since we are using a windows environment we are setting up on a windows server the Bugzilla installation so this is why we will be trying most of the native application those have been supported by windows so here we have to install web server when you do a google and trying to know which are the web servers that are supported for uh, bugzilla there could be apache web server there can be iis web server more likely in the non windows environment you will be able to see uh, uh, apache web server however in this tutorial i am going to use iis web server which is provided by microsoft windows and uh, this is uh, natively available you have to just go and configure it so I am back on my server. To be able to configure IIS web server, you need to open server manager. Click on add roles and features. Similarly, I am going it from here, add roles and features. Next, role based, next, select it's already selected you can uh, if there are multiple server that you want to manage through this that's really uh, an advanced way of working it however just simply click on whatever is selected and do next here in this uh, list you will see multiple options one of the uh, option available is the web server click on this and say add features next so uh, from this list we will try installing the minimum component those are required to run Bugzilla. I'm selecting request monitor, Windows authentication, application deployment 4.7. ASP, ASP 4.7. Remember, CGI is important. Without CGI, Bugzilla will not operate. We will need CGI. Next, install. So you can see the installation is completed. I'm simply click on close to exit the screen. Next is um, just verify if IIS got successfully installed. There are various ways to open it. You can here go click on IIS or just click on tools and information service manager. I've just opened it. So you should see this web server like this and uh, this means everything got set up successfully. Next is we want to test if it's working fine. Simply click on here, you know, browse HTTP. It will open the Internet Explorer. Let's say OK. Since it's opening for the first time, it will take a little while to show you the home page of IIS. So this is what uh, IIS home page looks like. And successful, we have done. So our IIS setup has been successfully. Now the next step would be the Bugzilla. So guys, see you in next video. Thank you for watching.